Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. And yes, you did read that thumbnail right. I am going to pay you to play crypto mining game. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to a new video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel, and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag the notification bell so you're alerted to all my new content as it comes online. Okay, so this is uh, my crypto mining game account and as you might see there has been a few changes so firstly you can now see that I am at 100 H power as you can see here in my last video we were at 88 and the way we'd got to that 88 is by basically trading in our BTC to basically get a power upgrade and or purchase power should I say okay I've also got uh, about 15,000 crystals and 9,000 crypto coins okay so how has this come about and what what has happened to change my account so obviously I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a few hints and tips and then uh, we're going to get into the uh, basically those hints and tips are going to help you achieve uh, what the final goal is and what I'm bringing to you uh, in this video. Okay, so basically I had a um, message from this guy. I'm not even sure if he is a subscriber or if they are a subscriber because I'm not sure if it's a male or female. But low roller scratcher basically said he's at level 18. Uh, so he doesn't do much anymore. He's got loads of crystals. He has an easy withdrawal and he has hit his 1000 HP. And how did he do that? Basically using the mining world. So basically, obviously I, I showed you in the last video the little mini games, but we also have the mining world. And what is the mining world? Simply the mining world is basically our little character. He is a miner. And then the mining world is we go and seek uh, out coins, uh, power, uh, key hacking keys all these things and these things will help you boost your account okay so basically what I did was I spent a few hours yesterday cruising around the mining world and seeing what was about and how quickly uh, we could build up power I have to say that um, it's not super fast uh, but if you persevere with it you will uh, basically build, manage to build up some power. So let's go to the mining world. Remember what I'm telling you now has everything to do with what I'm going to be telling you later. So make sure you keep watching. Okay, so this is the mining world. First off, I would say, depending on how big your monitor is, use um, your drop down and change this from 100% zoom. I go down to about 67. Uh, and basically what that does is, as you can see, it makes the map smaller, but it, it, it allows you to view more things. So basically you use the arrows to move the map around and as you can see here you also have other arrows at the ends and at the side I am at the furthest I guess depending on I assume if you're looking at it from the if you were looking at it straight on I am at the furthest to the right of the mining world and that's why you can't see one of these arrows on this side because I'm as far over to that possible so I'm basically just cruising along the side of the mining planet or mining world and checking uh, what is available so what my advice is is what you want to do is get yourself into an area uh, obviously you can see all these things these are all the things that are available and as you go through the screen some some screens will have more stuff and uh, than others so what you want to do is think about what 
is my mining level so you want to have on the screen as much possible stuff that you can actually mine because if I click on this one that's 19, that's above my level, so it's only saying my chance of success of actually retrieving that is less than 40%. So basically you don't want to go any higher than your level, but obviously you can claim everything lower than your level. Also as well, when you're in the mining world, just as a, a, a quick thing, because not everything is completely visible, as you can see this one is below this building, click this, this little one, button there in the middle and that gets rid of all your buildings so then the only thing you will see is the stuff that is claimable um, so what I do what I've been doing is getting myself into sort of like a central point on the square well central to basically what I'm looking to collect and then because you don't want to waste time moving from one place to another so if you get yourself in a central point what you can do then is if we find, say if we click on, what's that? That's probably closer than that, is it? Um, if we click on, yeah, so I think that is closer, but we'll click on this because it's a level higher. And just send your drone. Don't actually move to the square. Just send your drone. And then what you can do is once you've claimed that, you can then send your drone to that one. You can then send your drone uh, to this one. That's number, That's a seven. Uh, obviously making sure that you can the buttons are visible and then you can send it to that one so anything below your level uh, or your level or lower you can then go and get uh, admittedly now and again you'll get to a square even with your drone and unfortunately it will tell you that something is not there like even if you've had a uh, an icon to say that there's some Bitcoin or some dash or uh, some uh, crypto coins like game coins uh, sometimes you will get there and it will say unfortunately that that is empty so basically if we click on this and then we go send a drone what you can then do is you can click on here because this is this is, these are your explorer missions you have spy missions and you have uh, attack missions so i'm assuming obviously you're at, you, like if i clicked on it on uh, this i'm assuming it's a female as they're using a female uh, avatar uh, but you can spy on them or you can attack them personally I, I don't know what the benefit of spying or attacking is. I mean, I guess spying, you can just figure out what they're holding. Uh, and then, obviously, you can attack them. And I'm guessing you can retrieve whatever they've got. That is a guess, though. I haven't done this. As for me, I just figure if you start attacking people, they're li most likely to start attack you back. So, <laughs> so I sort of work on the basis that... If I don't attack anyone, I'm crossing my fingers that no one is going to attack me or and steal all my stuff. So, basically, um, so while that's going, what you can see here is it will tell you how long that is going to take. So, to get from me, for my drone to go and pick that up, because the great thing is it doesn't just scan the area. It'll actually explore and then pick up whatever is there as well. So, like I say, so that's going to take you three minutes and... 40 odd second so while we're doing that let's nip into messages and I'll show you the kind of thing that you'll see okay so anything in the yellow that means it didn't find anything there so you will get this message you move to a new location and there was nothing there maybe another player has explored this place before you did um, so that just means that obviously even if like I say even if it has an icon sometimes you will get that but then these uh, this is what you'll get if you pick up a cards the cards are usually um, easily spottable because their icon is a little person or like a little animal or something uh, like this was uh, for Astro Girl and so she she was the actual icon, little Astro Girl, and I clicked on there because I hadn't uh, been to any squares with uh, little people on, and I wanted to see what you got. Uh, unfortunately, all you got was a couple of cards. But 
clicking on basically sending to anything I believe other than cards you will always receive hashing power and the cool thing is and this is another reason to keep your card deck up to uh, a good level is because you get extra hashing power according to how good your deck is is so your trading cards that if you go into where it says my cards if you keep them keep topping them up like you use the coins to build them and upgrade them you will actually benefit from that because every time you find h power you will get a h power bonus because of how good your cards are uh, so obviously at this point i found 118 uh litoshis i got 700 Oh, 703 experience which that is also building your level here uh, we've got the H power and we got a bonus of 23 crystals okay so I did mention I did mention um, my crystals so uh, low low roller scratcher happened to mention that basically if you go into the market so you go into the market because uh, to uh, cruise around the world, there's two things you need. One is crystals, and the other is energy. So obviously, if you're if you're scouting or mining the mining or working in the mining world, while uh, you're doing your jobs as well, make sure you leave enough energy in here to then allow you to go and scout things or whatever while you're in here okay so let's just have a quick look at this so we've got 30 seconds i'll talk about the uh, crystals uh in a second so we just look uh just check this out and then we'll see what we receive basically uh pretty much all the squares like i say with the exception of cards uh ad admittedly i've only looked on one square that had cards which was the astro girl one that i've just shown you in my messages uh but every all other squares i've used uh have given me h power hashing power so like i say i'm fairly certain that the only ones that don't are the cards so okay so we go in here so that's green so we know that we were successful so if we click on that and then here we go so we got so that takes him up to uh, 100 point five whatever so we got that plus that because of our cards uh, we got jackpot so we got 11 uh, tickets into the jackpot lottery and we also got 176 litoshis and 2044 experience which then built like I say that keeps building your levels as well so the great thing about the mining world it is building your account on multiple levels so it's 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 building your crystals it's building your um your mining level it's building your hashing power so this is all good reasons to be using this mining world um so that's a bit of a shout out really to you know a good shout out to low roller scratcher because i'd sort of avoided using the games uh especially the mini games because as you see you can lose quite easily on the mini games uh but the world if you have the time uh use it um because like i say it um it does build your account in multiple ways so obviously the downfall or the downside of the world is that every time you send off a um well basically the downfall is time essentially is that to send out a drone that took what did that take seven or eight minutes to you know obviously um every time you send out a drone you're looking at time and it is you know it is time in real terms uh it's you know it's not saying this is going to take five minutes and in fact that's like five seconds it whatever it's telling you that is how long it is going to take so like i say if i send let's say for instance uh i mean to be honest with you anything with a one 
a level one unless it's actual power because you will see like like a lightning strike here and there on a square and that is actual hashing power so unless it's a level one hashing power anything really about level one i'm not sort of touching let you know level threes level fours level fives i mean you could like with this i mean this is actually like trade tokens which but i've got tons of them so i'm not really bothered about that as well uh but also i mean i've not checked that that might be another one that doesn't give you hashing uh, h power but then again it might um like i say so if we pick say for instance uh this is because i want to because this is a this is quite away from us so if i pick that it's only a level three there's nothing yeah because everything else is above our level so what's that okay so that's a level 12 let's send it there so if we send it there you're going to see how long this will take. Right, so this is going to take eight minutes. Right, so we've just done one that took seven minutes. This is going to take eight minutes. So what I'm trying to say is, is it, it does take time. So just be aware of, you know, that it's, like a lot of the programs, you've got to be a bit patient. Um you you got to allow it to build up obviously you're also building your mining level using your jobs so you know whatever you're finding in here you're building your h power but it's also adding to that mining level that you are use that you are building with those jobs um and for just as a quick thing for those of you that are not familiar with this program at all uh, I will put a link in the description to the first video I did uh, and then maybe come back and check this out because this is just giving you some more hints and tips. Um, in fact, I'm going to put links for the first two because you've got how do you uh, basically how to use it in the first one and then hints and tips in the second one. So and then maybe come back here and check out what's going on in this one. OK, so like I say, that is basically how you use the mining world and how to build up your accounts uh, on those different levels. OK, so you're probably wondering why have I got 15,000 crystals simply because roller. Uh, Roller Scratcher basically said that, uh, you know, go and get yourself, you need to, because you need crystals, go and buy yourself some crystals from the market. So what I did was I had no idea how many crystals I was going to need. So I went into the market and basically purchased 20,000, right? You do not need 20,000. If you go and buy yourself maybe 500 or maybe 1,000 at the worst, I mean, obviously, um, to use the market, you do have to have trade tokens. Like I said, if you scout around the world, uh, mining world, you can find trade tokens. But also as well, you can just use jo you use your jobs to build up crystals as well. But do, re but do remember, you need crystals to open up any of the uh crates as well but also as well if you open the crates you will find crystals in them so obviously everything sort of works uh together but yeah don't do what i did and just go and buy tens of thousands of crystal because you don't need them uh and the reason that's why i ended up with nine thousand crypto coins basically because i traded in so basically i ended i basically bought a load of crypto coins with the excess i mean i've still got fifteen thousand crystals which i really don't need so for the moment in my jobs i'm actually not mining crystals at all i'm only mining uh coins which is i'm mining uh litoshi so anyway okay so <laughs> So I feel like I'm talking at about a million mile an hour because I'm trying to get all this in and not, you know, end up being an hour long video. So, so basically, uh, what do we do with the crypto coins? So, like I said, you want to keep your cards upgraded. You want to make sure you are leveling them up. So when you are basically earning uh, H power from 
the mining world, you are getting as much of a bonus as possible. So as you can see here, most of mine are all pretty much up to date. I've got here, there's one for a thousand. And remember, anything that you are upgrading, you get the equivalent back in experience. So that will also boost your mining level. So there you go. So I paid a thousand coins. I got a thousand experience and it bumps that card up. So when we're in the world, we're getting more of a bonus on our uh, H power. So we're also going to bump this one up here as well. So that gives me another 2000 experience on um, on my um, level. So we're over 50% now to level 14. And then so what we'll quickly do is just so that's everything all up to date. So we're all up to date there. And then we're going to go back to the mining world. Also as well, remember to keep your anti-bot and keep refilling your energy because like I say, you do need energy for this. So make sure you do not allow your energy to run down to zero, otherwise you'll have to wait to refill it. Okay. Okay. So um, I did pause it for a little while as I didn't um, want to put you through the excruciating... Um, of waiting for eight minutes uh, so basically we're just waiting for this sort of rejig itself and then hopefully we would have found some stuff okay so how long have we got left okay so we've got 28 seconds and then we're going to also we'll see uh, if me upgrading them cards has made much of a difference because we were our bonus that we were getting was something like 0 0.03 uh, on stuff. So if it's gone up, you know, I mean, I don't know how much it would make, how much it would make, uh, but we'll just have to. See. Okay, so we've got. Five seconds, and we're going to see. Hopefully, I'll be a bit disappointed if we don't find anything. Okay, so let's go and see the results. Okay, so we again we have we have um, been successful, and we got so. We, Okay, so we only got two because obviously it was a lower level. Uh, the previous one was, a, I think, a level 13, was it? Or no, that was a level 12, but it was Lightoshi instead. But we still got, um, yes, yeah, so we got uh, 0 0.2 and then we got 0 0.02. So obviously, if that had been 0 0.3, that probably would have been 0 0.03. But I'm assuming by, I mean, it does say that basically, obviously, it's from the cards. So like I say, do keep your cards updated because you will benefit from that. Even though obviously it's difficult to see because I don't know how much you're getting uh, for that upgrade. Okay, so we still got another 2,044. So we're nearly at 51% now. Uh, got a ticket and we've got 102 dash and we got some power. Okay, so uh, like I say, do refill, keep these refilled and Okay, so we're gonna we're now gonna move on to the uh, uh, what I, what I was talking about, and we're gonna I'm gonna discuss with you how you are how I'm gonna be paying you for playing this game. But I wanted to give you the hints and tips so uh, you know uh, how to get as much out of this game as possible. Okay. Okay, so also as well, just another hint and tip. Uh, I did discuss this in the last video. I was on and everyone kept talking everyone kept saying well you can do that you can do that uh, and uh, which I actually did discuss but I'm going to talk to you about it now so if you go to uh, the shop this uh, basically on um, I don't know how many times a day but you will get a free card which you can collect or a free pack of cards uh, so you can collect this multiple times a day the only thing is is no one seems to know exactly what the time interval between each collection so you just have to drop in every now and again and see if there is a pack of cards available uh, and obviously 
doing that will help boost your pack and your cards as well so make sure you do that uh, also as well if you go into the partners you can check out the partners and you will get free a free crate uh, whenever you go and check out the partners as well so make sure you're doing that okay so like I say I'm just trying to tell you as much as I can to basically so you know as much as possible to get the most out of this okay so what am I talking about how am I paying you to play this game and say ba okay so basically what I'm doing is I am gonna do a challenge it's all it's a it's like a competition challenge okay so obviously I realize that um, the the basically I've, I've now the, from my first video it has been about three weeks so therefore uh, those that are already in my uh, referral list or my download list do have a bit of a head start but that does not mean that you as a new player do not have a chance at this so basically if you think the game looks fun uh, and you're interested in playing like I say it's not something that is going to you know it's going to happen overnight but you know if you fancy giving it a go then do not be discouraged because there is already people in my downline okay so i'm going to tell you i have 20 people in my downline but there's four people that joined recently that have actually done nothing with their account so obviously like i say if you're the type of person that that's going to come in here play the game and uh, basically get as much out of it as you can you do have a chance at this okay so what am i doing okay so this i am do setting a level 15 challenge competition and what i'm going to do is for the first i was going to do for the first 10 right but i'm actually going to do it for the first 15 so the first 15 people in my downline to reach level 15 that's why I'm doing it is I'm giving it to the 15 it's all about the 15s okay I'm gonna give you 50,000 sats each so how do you do this what are the rules because obviously there are rules uh, I'm not just gonna be uh, saying get to level 15 any way you can and then you're going to get 50,000 sats no there are rules but it's going to be fun like I say if you're up for a bit of a challenge check this out okay so what are the rules okay so rule number one is you must be subscribed to my channel okay so whether it be YouTube or BitTube you must be subscribed to at least one of those channels okay two you must be in my downline on this game so you must be in my downline for crypto mining game okay number three you are not allowed to buy any add-ons or upgrades to aid your account okay so you so basically everybody has got to do this just using the bog standard stuff so don't go and buy yourself some packs go, don't all this like because you think oh yeah I'm gonna do that because basically I'll be able to tell uh, if you have done that so um, just be aware uh, also as well you must send a screenshot of your account it should say your account I can't even write can I look at that you of your account what's that about God <laughs> well anyway so you got to send me a screenshot of your account showing your level and your username so basically it will be your dashboard your for the first page you have uh, so I can make sure that you are in my downline so that's it so the rule so they are the four rules you've got to follow and all you got to do is get to level 15 without basically paying because obviously if you're paying you're losing out anyway because you because you know if you're paying X amount of dollars to get up there then it's a waste of time really isn't it so there's no point anyway but like I say that is one of the stipulations is you're not allowed to buy any add-ons or upgrades to aid your account 
to level 15. But like I say, when you hit level 15, go to my Facebook. You do not need to sign up to my Facebook or you don't need to um, um, subscribe to me on Facebook. There is a big button that says send message okay so even if you if you have your own facebook account you could it you you don't need to subscribe to me obviously if you want to subscribe to me then that's cool but basically hit that sub, hit that send button and then basically uh, add uh, a screenshot of your account so then I can verify uh, that you are in my downline and you have got to level 15. And like I say, if you basically, all you got to do is take a screenshot of this. I mean, obviously, this is not even the home. This is like the cards page. But your minor level here and your username is there. So that's all I need. And then I can check that. And also, obviously, in that message, you will need to send me your Bitcoin address okay and then I will send you your 50,000 Satoshis okay so that's all it is so this is a challenge the level 15 competition challenge get your account to level 15 with no aids at all and I will send you 50,000 Satoshis but you do have to be subscribed to one of my channels and you do have to be in my downline so remember that and uh, yeah and then and let's have some fun uh, after all we're all stuck most of us are stuck at home anyway uh, admittedly I'm still having to work from home but <laughs> there you go uh, so um, but yeah, I just thought, well, you know, while we're in this situation, I th everyone, uh, I've had a few people calling out for another competition since the last one. So this is um, the next competition. So competition challenge, like I say, the level 15 crypto mining game challenge. So basically get signing up, get building and get that 50,000 Satoshis. Remember, it's the top 15 first 15 people to send me the uh, their screenshot will get 50,000 Satoshis each. This is not 50,000 Satoshis between you. This is 50,000 Satoshis each to your Bitcoin address. Okay, so um, if you can hit that like button, that will be absolutely excellent. It really helps out my channel and that then helps me bring more content to you. So, have a great rest of your week. Take care. Look after yourself. Stay safe and look after anyone that is close to you as well. OK, so take care and I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.